So we are in a town called Las Salinas. Las Salinas. Las Salinas. What do you think? Las Salinas, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're we're here in Las Salinas. Las Salinas. Las Salinas outside of Concepcion. And we're on day five of a nine-day project with Un Techo Para Chile. We're building a kindergarten in a neighborhood of of, of people who are displaced by the earthquake and the subsequent tsunami. In general, the families are still settling in here. And this is a, it's a relatively new camp. And, um, and there are all these buildings are Mediaguas as well, which are the same, same construction type as what we're doing over here. But the kindergarten happens to be five put together and it'll be made into a bigger, bigger structure. And we have some swings and slides and just kind of creating an the whole school atmosphere, not just the actual kindergarten, but everything that goes along with it. We started our project uh, taking down a kindergarten in an uh, emergency housing area that no longer needed it. The first day we had a lot of rain, so we were working in the mud and getting soaking wet. And since then it's been nothing but sun, so that, that's been really nice because it was pretty cold and, and pretty grimy. This project that we're doing has been has been really different from any other ski trip that I've done because I've never had the opportunity to give something back like we are here and kind of make a difference for a lot of people in a lot of ways. It's cool hearing what, what the people we're working with think about our jobs and our life, you know. We, we live a really unique and awesome life, you know, our existence skiing across the globe. It's super special. No one, no one very few people have that opportunity. and. I think sharing it with people here and telling them our story, it reminds me at least that I'm just super lucky. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like we'd be coming down here as a group of Americans, skiers, and, and perhaps uh, we'd be alienated or people would be uncomfortable around us. And it's chill, you know, it's tranquilo, as they say here. Often on some of these ski adventures where we're not working with people um, and, we're, and we're trying to get the shot, you know, get the trick, get the trick, oh, there's powder, get up early, get the sunrise shot, get the sunset shot. I often don't enjoy it as much. You know, oftentimes I want to go home, you know, because I don't feel at home where I'm skiing. And working with these people, it's just, you know, I'm comfortable here. Let's stay, you know. Let's skip the competition season. <laughs> In terms of the community itself, it's a lot of children. We, we've made quite a few friends, uh, all under the age of eight, I would say. And um, yesterday we uh, we had the privilege to watch them learn how to do some stilting, and uh, they tricked me into trying it, which was a really good experience. This trip is different because not only are we getting to know these people, but we're working with them. And, and that sort of bond, it can really only be formed by a little bit of manual labor, some hammers, some saws, some, uh, some broken fingers. And we're really looking forward to getting out there on the hill, but, but this part of the trip is just, you know, it's really special. So far.